Have you ever been stuck in traffic? Have you been behind an emergency vehicle when it goes it's very loud and trying to get through but there's nowhere to go as cars are parked on both sides? This is a very, very, very important problem. As we see in this video before, this emergency vehicle is trying to get through to get to an emergency. But because of traffic, it's taking a long time to get there. And with that, that is the difference between saving and losing a patient. Right now, we're looking to explore different ways to be able to solve this problem. One of the ways that we can use is try and use quantum technology. We propose in this point in this project of quantum corners a solution that uses quantum technology to be able to mitigate traffic by rerouting GPSs when emergency vehicles are on their route. So now, as we see the problem as we see in the Washington DC area, now let's talk about some of the background of how this type of quantum sensor can be used to mitigate this problem and improve the emergency response. So background quantum sensors are different types of quantum sensors. The ones that we want to focus on right now are uh, a little bit of quantum energy and then also transversal applications, like we mentioned earlier. And so looking at some quantum energy, we have LiDAR and radar for autonomous driving. And then that's the one we're going to focus on trying to manipulate to actually do build our quantum sensor. So just understanding perception sensors in the realm of just vehicles, even autonomous vehicles. You have ultrasonic, you have radar, you have LiDAR camera, infrared, and camera visible. And so the one we're going to focus on on LiDAR is because LiDAR has the ability to do 3D depth mapping and distance memory measuring. And it also is based around light, so light detection and ranging. So there's a list of commercial radar uh, LiDARs that are used in the automotive industry, so we know that LiDAR has been used already in the automotive industry. And then quantum optics is the study of how photons interact with atoms and uh, molecules. And quantum optics is the foundation for quantum sensing, communication systems, and computing devices that are based on photonics. And single photon detectors are central bars in central device and technology built on quantum optics. And so as you can see, here's a map of the single photon technology and see where they go into. And then we want to focus on meteor meteorology, which goes to LIDAR. And they see are some of the single photon detectors. And I just want to talk about these ones right here. These are the two common ones, the SPAD and the NSSPD. So NS NSSPD stands for superconducting nanowire single photon detectors. So they are very much uh, popular right now, but also the single photon avalanche diodes are popular as well too. And the single photon avalanche diodes are popular because as long as, even though the, the superconducting nanowire single photon detectors are popular, I think in the previous slide I showed it, the operating temperature is very low for um, the NSPDs, versus recent advancements in the single photon avalanche detectors have shown that they can operate at room temperature, provide picocent and uh, precision for arrival time, and in the dominant structure for SPADs is time correlated to the photon counting. So what I said earlier about looking at the room temperature, so here's the most recent, that last graphic was 2009, and then this one is 2021. So in 2021, we've seen very much improvements to be able to operate at room temperature. And so we'll operate at room temperature, we can create a system right here. So we can create a single photon LiDAR where we use a THC-SPC module and we are out with a SPAD and a computer and a laser and actually create our own single photon lighter. Now making this a quantum lighter, we can manipulate it and actually play around with the aspects of quantum, create some um, useful, useful interference that we want by having a layer, a different diffuser and having to go through it and having a, uh, different light images interact to where we can see uh, the quantum lighter that we want. And so in this example, they had a quantum lighter by doing the quantum light with the interference and you see a different image of the skater. And then when you see the quantum light, without the quantum light, you see the car. So this is a way that we can actually use that with the SPAD to create a quantum LiDAR. Now you've seen the background for our quantum LiDAR, which would be our quantum sensor. But this is the software, this is a system that we have in place right now to build on top of that quantum LiDAR. So this is our model car that we'll be using to demonstrate what we use for our emergency vehicle. And we're going to use this to be able to send signals out to our um, smart traffic management system to then be able to reroute GPSs for other nearby cars. The technology that we use are our commercial off-the-shelf parts and can be purchased very easily. And we're going to show that we can integrate this with a quantum sensor to build a transversal application to solve the emergency response problem in the Washington, D.C. area. Thank you for your time, and this is Quantum Corners.